Hello and welcome. My name is Larry Reed. I'm a Ketron dealer, and I'm the one uh, guy out here that's a crazy man because I'm using my guitar to control this system instead of pedals or anything else. However, pedals are okay. You're welcome to use the K8s. Those pedals are amazing, and they work great, and they're accurate as all get out. But I'm the guy out here using the guitar to control it. And how I'm doing that is through a MIDI gu control guitar, and there's several different MIDI guitars out there. There's this one. And then there's another one that I've put on my Martin over there. It's made by Fishman. I'll show you that later. And then there's also a third one that's made by the Roland Company called the GK Series. All three of these will be able to control the machine. You will have to woodshed it a bit if you want to control it with a guitar. It's a little more difficult this way, but what you want to have, regardless whether you use your feet or you use a guitar, you definitely want to get your hands on this machine. Today I'm showing off the brand new SD90 from Ketron. This particular piece of equipment, they just keep getting better every single release that they come out with. This one is 100% live drums. You get 100% live instruments that you can choose from and then what you do is you save your 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 material it was what we call a registration and you put your songs in and this is the live side this is what we call the arranger the live side of the system so then you would scroll down to what you want in this case I wanted grapevine you would put grapevine up in the corner up here like so and now it's preloaded and I can also tell it, it's a one-stop shop, so I can also tell it, along with that, I want my guitar to not only control the machine, but I want it to control a voice. In this particular instance, I've chose a voice of the Hammond B3 organ. And you can see I'm in full control of the organ, as well as the machine. So I can fade that out and just go to the plain old ordinary guitar. Okay, before you start a song, you definitely want to make sure that you give the machine the key that you're going to be in. And you can do this by just strumming the chord. Or in your case, if you've got a foot pedal, you hit the foot pedal and you tell it, in this case, we want A minor. Because I'm using A minor at the beginning of this song. Once you've done that, the machine is now locked in A minor. It knows that's the key you want. So then all you have to do is hit the start button. And now it's in there. I'm going to take it off talk because as long as it's on talk, you're not going to hear any reverb. And you can see all of a sudden I've got reverb in my voice. About your plans to make me blue Some other guy you perform Two other guys love you more Took me by surprise, I'm afraid When I found out yesterday Oh, I do the grapevine Not much longer would you be mine at this point I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go ahead and bring in the organ instead of my guitar it's still playing the same way except now I'm playing keyboards Now I'm going to go a little bit of the, the reasons these things work the way they do. In the beginning, many years ago, back in the 70s, all we had was a drum machine. And this, it wouldn't have sounded this good because we had little canned drum machines that sounded like a bunch of guys running on rinky tinky cans. The reason this sounds so good is because this particular drum machine happens to be real. The drummer in this thing is an actual live sample. Everything is live. So you have real drums and you can have real fills. 
and real breaks. In fact, you can have a whole slew full. Here's a drum fill one, drum fill two, drum fill three, four, break one, break two, break three, break four. Now, all of these change depending on which variation of the drum kit you're using. So if you go to a more elaborate one, which is B, you can hear the difference. C. D. Every one of these is different. I'm going to go back to the simple one for now. Dengue came along and the company started with a small machine called Sultan and they had just basic booms. Now, you have a real live bass player in there. So just with the drums and the bass player, I'm instantly a three-piece band and it's all going to follow me, nobody else. By adding the organ in there, I make it a four-piece actually. Now let's say I don't want to play the organ, I just want to play the guitar. But I still want some organ. Well, you can do that. We'll switch over to right now variation C. And I'm going to fade in some of the other things that you can do in it. Okay, wasn't that cool? Wow, we got an organ. Now we got three guys backing up me. So now I'm officially a four or possibly even a five piece group. This is all done with what we call the live arranger inside the Ketron. There are hundreds and hundreds of beats and you can they come with the machine and they all have pre-programmed bass lines you can fix and you can change a lot of this as well you can do a lot of things with this because I'm going to show you where all these beats are coming from if we go over here and we hit this button here you can see there's a bass called ballad there's an area for ballads there's dance numbers there's rock these are all different styles you can see they say live swing 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 band there's unplugged, there's folk, there's Latin, there's country, there's party, there's pop. You really need one of these things if you're going to single out there and you want to make some money and you want to sound like a whole band but you don't want to pay for a whole band, They that which I found most places don't. So they'll be willing to pay you a lot more if you can sound like a whole band and give them a real live performance, which is what this does. But anything that you choose, it already comes with a specific bass line. So, like if you have a gospel, for example, you can start this up. I haven't got time to show you all of them. Otherwise, I'd be here for weeks. Power rock. And, of course, all the breaks. And fills all fit with this. different feel now. A power rock version of Grapevine. But again, what you're hearing is 100% live and it's following you. So you don't have to end the song. You can keep this song going for hours. And that's one of the beauties of this machine. It follows you. You do not follow it. That's the beauty of this particular thing with the Arranger. The Arranger is a wonderful piece of equipment. And just for the fun of it, let's switch variations. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's the only machine in the world that does a break. Now for the fun of it, let's just do a little swing, you know, just something uh, retro swing. Just for the fun of it, let's show what just some of these others sound like. Now you're, now you're doing old swing stuff. Or perhaps you don't want swings, perhaps you want some ragtime. All changeable. And of course, there's a whole list of country stuff as well. All these different ones go with it. So you've got all these different kinds of pieces of music that you can do anything you wish with. 
Now, it comes with quite a few already built in, but then, if you want to, there's a man that you can get a hold of after I've sold you one of these. His name is AJAM, AJ for short. He owns a company called AJAM Sonic. And AJAM Sonic can load in hundreds more. I'm not gonna go into everything right now because if I did, we'd be here for weeks. I'm just giving you a basic one over today to show you what this thing is capable of. And I'm using, as I said right now, I'm using the MIDI guitar. I will be back after this and I'm gonna bring on my Martin with the Fishman and I can show you the next level of this thing. Hi, welcome back. My name's Larry Reed. I'm a Ketron representative. I sell Ketron products. And, uh, I'm one of the very few guitarists out there that use the Ketron. So if you want to know more about guitar and using a Ketron, I'm the guy you want to contact. Fishman, this company here, they just invented a way of controlling the machine using the same format as the last guitar I used. It's a MIDI controller, but this one's wireless. It's right here, and it's called a Fishman Triple Play. It's a small unit. You have to mount the pickup yourself. You have to put it under the string. You have to follow their direction and be done. It's not that hard. It just takes time. Then you have to program this little dongle using the computer it's because it's the receiver that can, that can pick this information up. Now you don't even need a cable to talk to the machine anymore. You'll plug this into the side of the machine, and I'm going to show you how that works. Anyway, you plug that in, and you can see it says, Device USB Audio. Fishman triple play connected successfully. Now I've programmed this in advance with the sensitivity for the strings and all the other stuff. So all you would do is hit OK. This is plugged into the USB port and there's three of them on the side of the SD90. Then you would turn this piece on. What I'm doing is also I'm using an acoustic guitar. It doesn't necessarily have to be an electric and that's what I was also going to show people. We've plugged in our Fishman and we're going to go ahead and do a different song. So I'm going to go down my list here and I'm going to pick something really different. Let's try the Moody Blues. So we're going to hit interest, Enter and now you've got the Moody Blues up there. And this unit will control the synthesizer that I've chose. You can see it's almost instantaneous. There's no lag anymore. So, if we were going to start the song, we already have it loaded. Take it off talk. So I get my... Won't you take me back to school? I need to learn the golden rule. Won't you take it on my line? I need to feel it one more time. Oh, won't you tell me again? Oh, won't you feel it? Oh, won't you tell me again tonight? Cause I using this device. Now the nice thing about this particular MIDI control is it's 100% wireless. They just came out not that long ago and they're, they're somewhere just under the $500 range and you can find them all over the place but you don't need all of the different things. You just need the dongle and you need this device right here. And You can put it on any guitar as long as it has steel strings. Notice I said steel strings. No nylon guitars. Now again the other way to control this is with your K8 foot pedal or a MIDI guitar. And there are several different types of MIDI guitars. I showed you one earlier. So the other one I use, which is not here right at the moment, it's, it's across the room over there, is made by Godin that uses a Roland GR, any of the Roland GR series units that are on the floor to do the same thing to control this machine. Now, you're going to run into situations where the live arranger, which is all we've been messing with right now, is, is going to be insufficient because there's a specific bass line that goes with a certain songs. This is where the next step of this machine comes in that's really amazing. If you haven't messed with MIDI yet, you're in for a treat. Because I use about half MIDI and half 
live with the arranger. The advantage of the arranger, obviously, is that, of course, and this has happened to most musicians, if you've got a couple up that's dancing and all of a sudden the song's coming to an end, you have two choices. You can restart the song. Otherwise, there's nothing you can do. In this particular case, because it's an arranger, as we've been using right now, you don't have to worry about it because the song doesn't ever end until you tell it to end. It's following you. You're not following it. However, the MIDI can be sort of the same way, except the difference between a MIDI and an MP3. There are a lot of guys out there that use MP3s, and they call them backup tracks or whatever you want to use and call them, or recordings. They put them on tapes or whatever. But a MIDI is a true performance. Now, I'm going to explain MIDI the best I know how for people who have absolutely no clue how MIDI works. Think of a piano player role, and then think of how... The piano player role is inserted into the piano. And if you've ever noticed, the keys are actually going down along with the piano. So it's a live performance. A MIDI is the same thing, except it's controlling electronic information. So it's a live performance, but it has multiple tracks. Okay, the biggest advantage, again, of MIDI is that it's going to perform it exactly as it was written. And you can still change the instruments, the velocity, the tempo the key, everything is adjustable. And when you have a specific bass line that's with a specific song, and this one is a really good example of that. This is not a bass line that you would normally hear in the live arranging section. Sun goes down on my side of town Lord, some feeling comes to my door Turns blue, blue. Run down bar across some railroad track. The other advantage of this machine is that when you're working with it and you're in the middle of a song, you say, Well, I want that particular part louder. <laughs> or maybe you don't want it there at all. You can change all of this on the fly, which you cannot do with a recording. If you have a recording, can't modify it in any way, shape, or form. Everything on here, again, is on a separate track. I can take these out and just show you what I'm talking about. So this one's got the... Again, you're in control. You're the you're the conductor. You can tell it whatever you want. Pretty cool, huh? I have mine in different categories. I have MIDI country performances, MIDI love songs, regular MIDI performances, and MIDI voice tron performances. We're going to get into all of these. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into MIDI love songs performance. And you can see it opens up a page where I have stored all the ones that I do use. And I'm going to go down here and pick one that I think is going to show you what I'm talking about more than anything. Let's use My Girl. Okay. Now, you can, again, you can put this in any key you want. I happen to be a lower voice, so I put My Girl in G. So I can still do... Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start this machine and I usually keep all my stuff set to where all these different levels are about center and then I can start the machine and we can play right along and I'll show you how it works. Sunshine on a cloudy day When it's cold outside, I got the month of May. Well, I guess you say, what can make me feel this way? My girl, my girl, talking about my girl.
No other machine is going to give you these features. There's nothing out there quite like this machine, and I'm just scratching the surface here. I'm only doing this to give you an idea of what the SD90 can do for you. The SD90 also has some other incredible features. One of them is an assignable out. So if you want to take your baseline, for example, and you really got a situation like you're going to work a, a big, large event, and you want to really show that you know that you're doing a live performance. You can actually turn the, the the output on this to any output we wish. In this case, I use the base. I come out of this thing and I put my base or a real base cabinet over here, and I have a base player standing there right next to me that sounds like he's right there, and the only thing it's missing is his body. <laughs> So you, you can do things with this machine you can't do with any other machine. So you've got the advantage, as I said, of, of uh, and you can get pretty elaborate. I mean, there's a lot of stuff out there. And just like anything else, there are MIDIs that are well-written, and you can write them yourself, or you can get them online. So I'm going to go ahead and start this one. Got my first truck when I was three. I drove a hundred thousand miles on my knees. Hauled marbles and rocks. Thought twice before I hauled the Barbie doll bed for the girl next door. She tried to pin me off a kiss. Began to understand there's something women like about a pickup man. Turned 18 to save a few hundred bucks. My very first car was a pickup truck. Cruising down Maine, the first girl I seen was Bobby Jo Gentry, a homecoming queen. She flagged me down and stepped up in the cab and said, I never knew you was a pickup man. Set my truck on fire, roll it down a hill, still foot and trade for a coupe de Got an eight foot bed, never has to be made. No ever more trucks with a half tail gates. Met all my wives and girlfriends and traffic jams. Something women like about a pickup man. So, this is the new SD90. And if you're a single guitarist or performer, you need this machine. Because I got to tell you something. If you have this machine, you go out and you start doing gigs with this thing, your tips are going to go through the roof. Because I can tell you for a fact it's happened to me. Definitely look into this. You're going to have to go in and woodshed it a little bit. But once you get the hang of this thing, you're going to wish you'd had this for years. And this is their latest model. It's called the SD90. It's by Ketron. Thank you for your time.